What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you got a... Oh, crap. Having a great day. <laughs> we already did it. So, if you guys are watching this in the future, so not the day it releases, um, you know nothing. For those of you watching this the day of, you may know, well, I accidentally, accidentally released a video yesterday. That's right. I released a video accidentally. So we released two Let's Play videos in one day. That's right. Two Let's Play videos. Because YouTube, well, I... I'd love to love to blame YouTube. No, I I said it for the wrong day, and it was like, oh, this is already passed. Blah. That's my fault. A little bit my fault. But I blame YouTube for letting me do it. To be honest, if I was YouTube, I would have not let me do it. But it happened nonetheless. I don't really have time to record another episode, so we're gonna sit and chat for a little while. <laughs> We've got stuff to do. I've got extra stuff that needs to be fertilized. I've got stuff over here. We've already finished getting all of the potatoes up, so we're going to take a look at those here in a little while as well. whole bunch of stuff is going on. One of the biggest things, fertilization. We need to get stuff fertilized. There we go. There's that. Now we need to bump around. Let's see. Actually, yes, this is exactly what I want. We're going to use this to do some spraying. First things first, we got to change the wheels up on it. we got to put some narrows on here. So yes, we are actually a day ahead with videos right now. Didn't want to be, but it happened nonetheless. Ooh, question, is that truck going to be in the pickup area? Nope, we are good. Customize. Let's go into wheel setup, and there they are. Customize. Bang. Got the itty bitties now. I do love these little itty bitties. Tell you what, these John Deere tractors... It, they may not be American, they may not be right here, they may not be right there. But man, they do look good. And we are super lucky to have John Deere as base game in Farming Simulator 19. Oh, we don't have front three point on here, do we? No, we don't. So we're going to have to move this out of the way and just use the rear sprayer. Totally cool. Totally cool. We just got to do it. Let's get this moved out of the way. And bloop. There we go. So a little bit of extra fertilization. Since we've got one set on one, we're gonna use the other one on the other. Back it up, boom, baby. So what do you guys think of the big John Deere, the 8400? We're using that guy on here now. Let's see, let's check it out. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? For set, did he really go all the way up there and turn around? He's fertilizing this field now. He, oh. Where is he? You the heck are you doing bro <laughs> wrong field man oh well we'll put them on this one anyway they didn't even get down to the end come on now what are you doing finish up this field form there we go there's that boom so we're gonna do our best to do a complete real-time I think we've got enough work we could do a complete real-time video this time around so there's that oh my god Goodness gracious, we got the dumbest workers on earth. Like, well, I could probably just go ahead and do this field while I'm here. No, it's not the one I wanted you to do. Here we go. All right, so they're <laughs> kind of going the right way. <laughs> Gosh, it is just crazy, crazy, crazy. What are we going to do about it? It's Friday. If you guys are watching this day of, if it's not, happy whatever day it is to you guys. I'll tell you, we're just lucky to be here. That is all huge again massive shout out to clutch simulations 7000 subscribers absolutely amazing Dude, congratulations bro you're killing it you are killing it just huge shout out to everybody i've been chatting to a lot of you guys off screen talking to you about your own youtube channels and ways to improve this or that i mean i am in no way shape or form the go to for uh you know hey is this good is this not blah blah this and that whatever but Tell you what, I appreciate you guys uh, trusting me to help you out. And it really does mean a lot to me. So let's take this. There we go. And spin it around. So now we should be able to hire a worker. Eh, we're going to waste a little bit of space doing that. Let's not do that. Let's get them about right here. Unfortunate part about using these sprayers is we can't, uh, we can't do fast farming with them. Can't do fast farming with the fertilization either. 
it's nothing we can do there. So we did get a little bit left in here, but I've just kind of meh at it. <laughs> like a better terms, meh. So let's take this. Let's go over here. Garage, leased. Let's return that. So money is, well, it's not as high as it used to be. 474. So what do we got? What do we got? We got some stuff that needs to be moved, taken away, all that good stuff. Let's move this. There we go. But yes, we got tons of sugar beets off of there. Oop. We need to clean the animals. Let's get those animals cleaned up. We're going to go over here to landscaping. And we're going to do paint. No, sculpting, sculpting. And then we're just going to smooth it out. There we go. And what this does is it kind of cleans it up. Now, we do lose the feet on the ground. That does stink, but boom. There we go. So this is brand new. I don't have a home for it yet. There's so many different trailers here and there and everywhere. I think we're just going to have to stick it right over here. Let's go through the tree. Perfect. Now, we do have some fields that are getting close to being ready to be harvested. Um, we have a cornfield. we got two soybean fields. Uh, we do have two fields, I think. One needs to be cultivated. I'm mean, actually, yes, no, straight up. We've got to get cultivation done on another field. There we go. Let's go check this out. Actually, 22 needs plowing. So I think the best way to do that is to take the two tractors that we've got and to go ahead and do that. Let's just put this here just for now. Now let's bump around to find the tractors that we need. I do have two plows. We've got two of the six meter Weba plows. Uh, those will go, was it nine, 10 miles an hour, something like that. Since we're on PC, we can run a little bit of PC magic and make that work for us. Here we go. We do have plowing. So this is a really cool feature. Ah, we went the wrong way. We do have a really cool feature with PC. And, and those of you that play on PC, you may know this. You may not know about this. So there's a create fields with cultivator, which I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. The problem is you can't do uh, you can't do it like you would think. So we got that, get that, let's bring it through here, don't get stuck. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> realism at its finest. <laughs> that should be our go-to right there. You got dagger and uh, realism is key. And us, realism at its finest. Yeah, yeah, shh. <laughs> Gosh, tell you what. These case, this thing looks awesome. Somebody commented on the video yesterday, uh, the the not the one before this one, the one before that one, and they said, uh, "Oh, so what was that?" I have to go back and remember. Basically, said like, "I thought you were gonna start out small. <laughs> you have not done that." Like, I know. I'm so sorry. I let you guys down. Which way is the best way to go? Is it up and down, or is it down that way? Tell you what, we may. Uh, we got some. And we'll just go long ways with it. It'll be all right. Same way that we went to harvest it. So there's this. Boom. Go down with that. And we've got this. Also, some of you guys were asking me about the front guard, the front weight on here. So this is not a weight. This is actually a guard. Uh, this is available for everybody. So you can find it in weights, though. And they do have a weighted version. So let's go over here to weights. And it's going to be... Where is it? Come on. Here we are, safety bumper by Lizard. So if you want to go into Lizard, you can, or just go into weights. So we've got two versions. you got the bumper, and then you got the 2,000 kilogram weight. Very cool design color. So the way I did this, main color was John Deere. No, no, main color was... Of course, we're all over the place, aren't we? Main color was... <laughs> design color is John Deere. Main color... Was John Deere Green? There you go. So that's the one I put on there. But you can do this anyway. If you've got case, do it like this. Do like a, a silver. There you go. There's case right there. Actually, you know what? We should get one for the front of our case. I think it's only fair that we do that because the case, you know, the case is kind of up there feeling lonely. It really is. If you think about it, it's up there feeling lonely. And while we're at it, we got a little bit of extra cash on our hands. We might, just might be able to buy another tractor and bring it up here so as you know we do case versus john deere that is this is the case versus john deere farm All right there there we go do that periodic plowing is on so we've got to do all that so let's buy one of these for the case 
Again, it's poor thing's lonely. So let's go design color, silver, main color, case red. Ooh, that does look good. That does look good. Let's purchase that. And let's go in. So we've got two John Deere tractors. Don't we have a skid steer too? Like somewhere? Didn't we buy a skid steer? I swear I bought a skid steer. But I don't know where it is. I don't know if it just disappeared. I had one. At one point, we had one. You guys remember me buying it? it yes, we bought it. Because I put it right in there. What in the world has happened? <laughs> All right, so that's there. That's there. All's good. All's good. We need to take this over and set it on the corn right here. So let's take this, set it on the corn, rock through. There we go. We're just going to drive over it. We do have the wide or the uh, narrow duels all around. There's something. Helper H is blocked by an object. I bet they are. I bet it's the dumbest thing we've ever seen, too. All right. Bring this out. Send this down. It should go down to the end and. It please work? Yeah. There we go. Okay, we got it to work. Who's having problems? Why are you here? What have you done? <laughs> Idiot. Let's pull it through. You are finished, man. You did everything. You did your job. You're done. Let's put you right here. And just leave you sitting. Okay. So what do we have? What's the first thing that pops up by case or so we got the 1455. The smallest John Deere is the six Ilm. So that's as small as it goes there, but we do have the 1455 mod. Of course, here we have the 7200. We have the Maxim. And then we've got the 6M. We've got the Puma. And then we have the 6R series. I wonder if we get something a little bigger. Um we have, of course, two John Deere's. Let's take a look at what we've got in garage. We're going to go over and see what we own. So we've got 7250, which is a pretty big, small tractor. We've also got the 6M. Now, that's 164 horsepower. And then it goes case with the 249, and then case with 313, and then the John Deere with the 450. We're not going to go with a Magnum because we've already got something big like that. I feel like the Puma would fit maybe above where that John De or with their case is, but I don't want to have the three case tractors in the middle. Oh, there's just so much to think about in there. <laughs> you know what? Let's, you know what? I, I really want the 1455 just to drive around the farm. Plus it sounds phenomenal. This guy right here. Boom. Uh, we'll set up. I'm going to go standard because I think the standard looks great front loader we will put a front loader on here so let's purchase that let's go get us a front loader let's get the fz30 and we're going to go with onyx now for those of you when you buy front loaders you're not going to go with jet black you're going to go with onyx so that's what we're going to buy and then for a thing so we've already got a bucket up here so let's go with pallet forks just so we've got something to work with onyx again and those are going to be the exact same color that they should be. Same color as the front loading arms. Here we go. Very cool. Very cool. Got that. And we've got a small tractor, about 140 horsepower. There's not a whole lot on the farm that we've got that'll work with this. But I think the fact that we've got just kind of just a small little, you know, a chore tractor of sorts. And then we've got that, which looks awesome going through the wheels right there. Amazing. It's amazing what kind of ugh, cringiness that you can get with these, isn't it? Let's take this. Oh, yeah, we've got our placeable area here, which we've already got to use once. If you guys saw the video yesterday, we did get some new mods, and we used that placeable area. Uh, the reason we have it is because whenever we have a Let's Play series, I always like to do my mod reviews and stuff like that on the map that we are on. I feel like it gives it just a little bit of different look. Uh, and it doesn't give you the same thing over and over again. And I feel like if you use the same map over and over again, it can get a little monotonous, even though it's what you're used to. It's the norm. It's the easy kind of 
it makes sense. And I think that's why a lot of people use that. And I've done it before, too, in 17. Uh, we used um, uh, Goldcrest Valley. But here, we're not doing that. We are going with all this. Oh, don't lower it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, by the way, it's got lights on it. Is that not the coolest thing? Oh, my goodness. This is the coolest thing in the world. All right, let's turn that off. Where is our case? You see him up there. We're just going to stop him and hopefully pull forward onto it. This field is getting done in no time. No time at all. Let's rock through here. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Let's get this lined up and see if we can line it up before it hits us. About right there. Good. Okay, let's drop that and then find our guy. He's coming up on it. And fireworker. Slam on the brakes. Jump back out and pull over. This should be pretty straightforward. We'll get up to it. I wonder if it'll say, like, blocked by an object. Yes, it will. So let's pull forward. Hook it up. Bring it back. Put it down. Oh, it's so happy. Look at that. It's just so happy. We got to get a... Uh, I gotta get a screenshot of this. Oh, rawr. That looks mean. Everybody smile and cheese. Cheeseburger. All right there. Yeah, cheeseburger. Boom. Gotta love that. Now let's get this back on the road. Let's turn the lights off. There we go. Oh, it just changes the whole look of the tractor putting one of those on there. Okay. Bring. Oh, no. We put the weight down. No, don't put the guard down. Put this down. There we go. Get it lined up just right. And hire worker. Boom. So we got that. Let's take this back over. And we got to think about what we're going to put in here. Because this is a brand new field to us. Because we are going to do a cycle of uh, corn, soybeans, wheat. And then make, the, make this spin from there. So of course we've got corn was over there. Now corn's over here. We've got soybeans over there and right there. These were big grass fields. So we've got all that changed over also. This is a big also. I have thought about this. I've thought about this uh, for quite a while. I want to take the entire farm and flatten it. Because there's so much going on, man. There is so much going on on this farm. And I'm so sick of it. I don't want it to be going on anymore. <laughs> Where do we put this? I don't have room for it anymore. Now we have five tractors. Why do we have five... Why'd you guys let me get five tractors? Now we've got to get another John Deere just to make it all work right. And we're running out of money. We started with $2 million. Uh, where do we put that? You know what? Let's just stick this in the in the tree. <laughs> Let's put that right there. There we go. You know how people always take a picture and they're like, oh, we found a tractor in the woods. We're time to restore it or whatever. Sorry for calling anybody out with that. I think it's funny. So there we go. What do we got going on? This. This guy needs to be brought back. Where are we at? Say So there's nothing in this field right here. There's nothing in 13. And soon there will be nothing in 22. So what do we do with 13? Do we go ahead and start planting in there? Hmm. Well, the question is too. Will this John Deere or... The other case that we've got, will they work in that area? You know what? I bet the case will. I bet the case will big time. So let's stop this. And let's find that case. There it is. So this was able to get this uh, this done for us. We just needed that little sliver right on the end. And that took care of all of that. Get out of here, birds! You guys want to buy a get out of here bird shirt? Link's down in the description below. <laughs> I think they're uh, $14, $15, something like that. It's as cheap as Teespring would let me go with them. There we go. Bring this around. We do have a place for the solid fertilizer. And I believe somewhere around there close is going to be our cedar. Oh, the corn one's the Great Plains, isn't it? Ooh. Great Plains needs 200 and some horsepower. You know what? I'm going to make it work. We are going to make the Great Plains work with this. I, uh, I don't think there's enough horsepower, but we're going to do it anyway. Where is the Great Plains at? 
Oh, what's behind the cow barn, isn't it? Yes, it is. Also, by the way, this cow barn is amazing. It looks awesome. And I feel like the amount of cows that we've got is just perfect for that area. Let's take this, back it up. Hook. Got it. Hook, line, and sinker. That's what that is. And see, we've got corn selected. And I think that's exactly what we're going to go with as well. I think we're going to go with corn here. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This is going to be a chore and a half. I think we're going to go up and down this way to make things a little bit easier. Keep from going up and down hills as much as possible. We might have the horsepower. Are we going to have the horsepower? Can we do it? Oh, yeah. Now, of course, you know, the speed for this, I believe, is definitely not five, six, seven, eight, or nine. It's either nine or... Yo, what is it? Tell me. Or is it planters? It is... Oh, it's nine miles an hour. So six isn't too bad. It's faster than zero. And that's all that matters. Well, guys, that is going to be it. This was not something I was planning on recording. As a matter of fact, this was all stuff I was going to do off screen. And I didn't have the time to record a full episode. So we recorded straight through. This is the first, I believe, the first episode that we have ever done in Farming Simulator 19 where we have recorded straight through. We had enough stuff to do, which was awesome. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you like this style? I'm not going to do this every day, of course, but I think, you know, maybe every Friday, something like that. Maybe like straight through Fridays or, or fast track Friday. I don't know. Something like we'll come up with a name. How about that? Question of the day. Drop down the comment section below. If I were to do this series, like doing a straight through play for the entire Let's Play, what would you call it? Let me know down in the comment section below. That being said, that will be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you know, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. Be happy to help you guys out. I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.